lives living beyond identifications identification is ignorance it is part of this great play the cosmic play that you will have to lose yourself to find yourself again two times the word yourself is used first it refers to as you are now and the second to find yourself again means your original face what you are is not the original face so this is important remember therefore going beyond identification and then living beyond such identification is a new process but this identification is natural what do we identify with something to define you there is another reason why it is so easy to become identified and sooner or later you become fed up with this label identification is a sort of label you want to know who really you are and the moment you ask this question sincerely who am i you are on a different journey now and indeed you are transcending let us look at the room this is a room you are in a room you know what is room if i say to you look at the room where will you look in prospect you will certainly look at the walls are the walls room no the walls are not room room is not floor is it room is not ceiling is it room is not the deco on the walls room is not the color of the paint room is just roominess a space indeed this roominess is not the walls not the deco not all that is contained in the room the walls are just the boundaries of the space that we call room but if i tell you to look at the room you will look at the walls because the roominess cannot be looked it is subtle it is unseen you cannot see it can you look at the roominess roominess is not anything tangible it is there unseen yet it exists but you do not know you can feel it you cannot see it but you can feel it feeling is the beginning you are just in a space you are just in a space this space is occupied by your name and form these are the walls that define you a room is defined by the boundaries that it that encompasses the space depending on the usage your name and form are the walls they define the boundary that you are they give you a boundary they give you a definition they give you a definite space you can be identified with that 
definiteness otherwise you are just zero shuny or nothingness that nothingness is there that inner space is there your name that space just as the space the roominess is there in the bedroom in different bedrooms other areas like laundry restroom kitchen living room patio are all same but they have each one of them have a different name this is known as patio this is known as garage this is known as laundry area so laundry area is the name that gives a form to the space that is utilized for a specific purpose so basic thing is that space nothingness you have an empty space you are going to start a construction over it you have to do it according to the definitions in the house you need bedrooms you need restrooms you need attic you need basement you need garage you need kitchen you need living rooms so these are the definitions where the space will be divided you as an individual are a space defined by a name look at it in this way you breathe in and you breathe out if you breathe in and breathe out silently and there is no thinking in the mind you are simply sitting you are simply sitting under a tree breathing in and breathing out what will you feel you will feel that there is outer space and there is inner space you breathe into the inner space when you are breathing in breathing in means you are taking the air into the inner space and breathing out means the air that was taken within is taken out you will feel that there is outer space and there is a inner space breath comes into the inner space and then breath moves out of the outer space there is your bedroom is a inner space you breathe into the bedroom you breathe out of the bedroom if you have to use that terminology when you come in you come in the inner space that is defined as bedroom you breathe into the bedroom and then you come out of that space into the outer space you breathe out but and breathe and breath moves out to the outer space but where are you have you ever introspected these are two spaces your throat is just a door just as the door in your bedroom a swinging door when the breath comes in like automatic door when the breath comes in the breath forces the door and moves in automatic door and when breath goes out again the force again it forces the door to go out like you would have seen in certain cabins 
they have a kind of a swinging door. It can be pushed from either side. If somebody wants to come from inside to outside, pushes outside. It is not pull and push. It is just push from wherever you are standing. In certain office cabins, this kind of a door is put there. The person who is out, he pushes in to come in. The person who is in, he pushes out to come out. Your throat is just a swinging door and there are two spaces, the outer and the inner space. And if this door is broken, then there is no, there are no two spaces. Instead, there is one space. You become afraid if you feel a nothingness within. You want to be something definable. If you have no definition, you will find it's a problem. You want to be something definable and definite. There is no one who is definite inside. The outer space is infinite and inner space is also infinite. That is why Buddha insisted that there is no soul, no Atman. You are just an empty Infinite empty space. Infinite empty space. It is difficult to feel oneself at this infinite space unless you make an arduous effort. One becomes identified with the boundaries. It is easier to feel oneself that way with the boundaries. If all the boundaries that define the room, define the different spaces in your house are removed, there will be, everything will be reduced to one single space and it will be difficult to identify. Your name is just a boundary, your body is just a boundary, you breathe into your body into your space. You breathe out of your space. In the house, in your home, you have different bedrooms. Each bedroom is specific for one person. He breathes into it, he breathes out of it. And that's how he lives it. All these are <coughs> for outer utility, Therefore, for your own convenience also, you become identified. Then, once you become identified, accumulation goes on and on. And with accumulation, you feel a fulfillment of the ego. You are defined with your riches. Then, you go on accumulating it. You have a feeling that you are growing greater and bigger you have a big house, then a bigger house, then a still bigger house. So you feel that you are getting bigger and bigger. And that is how greed is born. Greed is nothing but an expansion. Greed is an effort to expand the ego. But howsoever great you become, it is your ego and you never become infinite. This is how one always has a spiritual discontent. Ego is never satisfied. Ultimately, it is frustrated. And this is how a spiritual discontent comes in you. You are infinite. Nothing less will be helpful for you and nothing less will ever satisfy you. But every boundary is going to be finite, it is needed, it is necessary in a way and useful, but it is not true. It is not true. This inner mirror, this inner mind is necessary. 